Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the importance of catalytic cracking. Now, in order for us to figure out why cracking is important, I'm going to show you a table with some information in. So I have my gases, petrol, kerosene and bitumen in this table. They're all my different fractions of crude oil. At the top of the table, I've got my short chained alkanes and at the bottom, I've got my longer chained ones. We've then got two columns. One of them is the percentage supply. One of them is the percentage demand. The percentage supply is how much we actually have existing and the percentage demand is how much we actually need. So if we have a look at the gases to start off with, we have 2% supply and 4% demand. That means we have more demand than we actually have the chemical. So we don't have enough. Petrol, we have 16% supply and 27% demand. So there's a difference of 11% there. And that's a massive amount that we need that we do not have, that we can't just get out the ground. Kerosene is the opposite way around though. We have 13%. We only need 8%, so we have a surplus. We have more of it than we actually need, more supply than there is demand, and the same with bitumen. We have 50%, we need 38 so we have 12% more than we actually need. So what this means, in general, is that our short-chained hydrocarbons we don't have enough of, but we have too much or more than we need of our longer-chained hydrocarbons. So what do we do? Catalytic cracking. We take our long-chained hydrocarbons, we split them, we crack them into our short-chained alkanes and our shorter-chained alkenes, and this helps to meet our demand. And that's everything you need to know in this video. So let's have a look at a question. So I've got a very similar table to the one that you just saw. In fact, it's identical. It says, explain in terms of supply and demand why kerosene is cracked to produce smaller-chained alkanes such as petrol. So talk about supply, talk about demand. Look at bitumen, look at petrol, look at those percentages, compare them. Pause the video, have a go at it, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So we're comparing kerosene and petrol. So let's have a look at kerosene to begin with. We've got 13%, we need eight. So there is more supply than there is demand. And that's gonna get you your first mark. So some sort of comparison between the supply and demand and saying that we have more than we actually need. Petrol's the opposite. Our supply is 16%. The demand is 27%, therefore you want to say there is more demand than supply. We don't have enough of it, something along the lines of that for your second mark. And then, why do we crack kerosene? We do it to meet the demand. So kerosene is broken down to produce petrol so it can meet the demand, so we can have enough petrol for what we need. Something along the lines of that is going to get you your three marks, and that is everything that you need to know. I have got a review question for you, which says look at the table on the right explain the importance of catalytic cracking. It's exactly the same table we've looked at twice now. Why is catalytic cracking important? And it's pretty much what we've just been talking about. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.